Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I'm a founder of InspiredInsider.com where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. I've been waiting months and months for Michael Fishman. Today we have Michael Fishman who's one of the legends of marketing. He's been a leading advisor for over 20 years. Just a little bit about Michael. He, this is exactly why you should listen to him. He, and I saw him at the Titans. He's just when he talks, gold comes out. I'm not even kidding. I'm not just trying to flatter you. I'm being serious with that. He worked with Rodale for 17 years to help grow the prevention and men's health publishing brands. He's worked with large organizations such as Boardroom, Agora, Reader's Digest, many more. He has been in charge of some of the largest mailings. That's why he will talk about mailings. He just did. That have been ever been executed in the consumer market. He's also provided consulting to help Bulletproof.com and Coffee. Michael has led the annual Consumer Health Summit since 1994, which is an invitation-only event for CEOs and entrepreneurs in the health and wellness space. He's worked with some of the top health personalities, Dr. Andrew Wild, Dr. Mark Hyman, Dr. Deepak Chopra, and a long list of others. And he's also co-founder of BehaviorCon, which is a conference which features entrepreneurs and business leaders speaking on consumer psychology and behavioral economics. Michael, thank you so much for joining me. <laughs> It's a treat to be here. Thanks, Jeremy. So, Michael, since it's Inspired Insider, um, tell me about your lowest moment and then how you pushed through it. Well, I th um, it's funny because I, I think the, <clears throat> I think in, in like May two thousand one, learning that our consulting business in work culture and leadership wasn't going to fly was a tough space. That was a tough spot. And I mentioned that a few minutes ago. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and how I persevered was what I said. You know, I, I had relationships that kind of buoyed me, that got under my wings, and that enabled me to, to sort of come back um, without ever really going into personal scarcity or hardship. Um, and, you know, and having, you know, having Having a you know a CEO at that agency whose name is Lonnie Mandel who still leads it you know have, I mean him, my relationship with him was was also important too, not just relationships with clients but relationships with the guy that I had worked for at that point for sixteen or seventeen years, who ran that agency and owned it, and my relationship with him was critical in terms of him believing in me that I could you know rebuild and. Um, you know, and and him, you know, providing some financial cushions during that process. You know, that relationship was as key as as any client relationships or or external relationships. Yeah. So, what's been one of the proudest moments? <clears throat> proudest? Yeah, proudest. Hmm. Well, I have three awesome kids. <laughs> that I have I, a question in there about your kids, actually. Yeah. Um. Proudest moments. It's a tough, tough call, man. Um, you know, I, I don't know if there's a, I don't know if there's a moment, but I think just, um, you know, there aren't a lot of people that have um, sort of done the migration from offline to online. You know, um, you know, it's kind of like selling typewriters. It's like you know, if you're trying to do that, it's kind of like those days are over, you know. And so I, I, maybe not a moment, but just something I'm proud of is really taking the dive into the Internet and really making that my home. And, under, you know, bringing everything I know about psychology, consumer psychology and marketing and also the content areas where I've specialized in and just sort of packing that up and, you know, putting it in the U-Haul and moving it over to this, thing called the internet yeah. where the tactics are different but they totally you know the, the best tactics are still connected to the best psychological insights yeah um, and just just m making that migration and doing it you know I think with some degree of effectiveness or so I'm told um, I mean it continues to support me in a great way and you know the people around me are, are you know there's there's demand for me which I'm very grateful and and don't take for granted at all. Um, well, what's so, one of those proud times where you did take that knowledge to the online world and helped a particular company? Because I'm sure that's uh, proud. Yeah. Well, I think. I mean, look, looking. I mean, once again, looking at list building in the online space, 
getting people to engage in a relationship with you by way of providing their email address, which is a very significant event because, once again, that's your most important source of ongoing relationships and ongoing business. And, you know, taking what I learned about consumer psychology and marketing and language and how people respond to language and colors and photos and words and typefaces and so forth and helping people improve their opt-in rate by 300%, 500 500%, 700%. I mean, 40% is, you could have a party for 40%. Right. You know, to get 300, 500, 700, I'm very, I'm very proud of that. Mm-hmm.